So removing the focuser uh, or the focus tube from the actual ADAD itself is quite easy. Um, there's actually just three um, screws attaching the focus tube or the focuser unit sorry, to the telescope. So let's start removing those screws and then we can look at replacing it with the new one. Okay, simple as that. So there's the old focuser uh, removed. So let's now move on to adding the new one. Okay, so it looks like a, a like for like replacement. Um, three screws around the head of the barrel, head of the unit. So let's take these out. Um, actually, I think on this one, uh, it's Allen keys, not screw driver headset um, or Phillips headset. So let's take these out with a Allen key and then we can lock this in place. Okay, so um, because this can obviously turn around um, as discussed in the unboxing, um, the actual angle, I guess, of um, the 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 main body of the focus cube doesn't really matter because we're going to adjust that later. Um, so obviously what we want to do is get these three uh, Allen keys lined up with the holes on the tube itself first. So I'm just going to take these screws out fully and then that will allow us to push uh, the focus focuser onto the tube. Okay, so it was uh, a little bit of a push, um, but thankfully everything's lined up. There's no lips or anything which have stopped the focus of being attached. Um, on some of the forums reading about this, sometimes there is a lip that unfortunately needs to be sanded down. But thankfully being Skywatcher, sky um, as you'd, you'd expect, this has gone straight in. So now let's put the three screws back in and get this attached. Okay, so with the three screws attached, we'll now go around and nip them up tightly. Okay, and then because the tube allows rotation itself, um, for the time being we can rotate this to the middle, tighten up the screw which stops the rotation, um, and then I just need to replace the bottom half um, with my reducer and DSLR camera back on, and then we should be done. Okay, so because I'm using two inch uh, attachments, I can take this one and a quarter attachment off. So I just remove that, uh, keep them together, even though we don't need them, just save for the future. The reducer, the reducer or flattener that I've got, we'll place in next. So just tighten that up. And then finally, the DSLR camera that um, I'm currently using would obviously just go onto the bottom of the T-ring, screw on, and then everything's back in place. Um, the only other thing that we need to do um, that is not on this focus tube as standard um, is we need to put a little 
saddle uh, bracket onto here for my finder scope. So although I'm not going to add it on in this video, um, this is a, a white finder scope shoe or bracket um, and that just sits in the two holes out of here on the focus tube itself and two screws in and then I can put my finder scope on there. Uh, this is a white one but thankfully I've got a black spare one as well um, which I'll sit on there as well or I could use instead. Um, white might go with the brackets already or the black might go with the focus tube itself uh, yet to decide. Um, but let's have just a, a quick try. Um, so unscrew the tension slightly and that is very very smooth. Um, it's smooth but however it feels a little bit of resistance whereas the stock um, focus tube that I've just replaced um, that felt as if it had a lot of play in and was quite slack and if you watch my unboxing video on this you'll see where I mentioned the fact that this was actually sliding out during um, each session even though I tried multiple adjustments with the tension screws on the Crayford setup. So anyway, this is a very nice feel solid, as I said before. Um, quite an easy replacement, three screws out, three screws in. And uh, let's see how things go on the first session. Okay, so thank you very much for watching this video. Um, appreciate your time. Please like and subscribe to this channel. And any comments or thoughts that you've got, put into the questions below, or comments below, sorry. Um, and I'll try my best to reply to all of them. Okay, so thanks for your time on this.